G'day folks and uh, welcome along. Um, please ignore the uh, clock again. Five past three. It's actually five past four in the afternoon in uh, Tasmania. Today we're going to be flying up uh, over Cradle Mountain and down to Queenstown Airport um, in uh, Tasmania heading towards the south once again. Uh, hopefully we will have some reasonable weather um, and we will be able to uh, uh, see some of the beautiful scenery here in uh, in, 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 in Tassie. Alright, let's just uh, get this little puppy fired up and oof, yep, it like we're pretty good to go. Just uh, run up the engines a bit so you can check the magnetos check our pressure, oil pressure looks good fuel, plenty of fuel alright taxi lights on we'll announce here uh, we'll we're going to take off on runway 7 there's a wind coming in from about 48 degrees so. Yankee Whiskey Romeo Tango traffic Cessna Golf Foxtrot Lima India Golf Hotel Tango is taxiing to runway 7. So I have my trusty uh, trusty co-pilot with me today to do the radio calls so that I can spend my time talking to you folks. to taxi out here. Uh, yep, take off flap set. Yep, the ground's a little bit bumpy here, a little bit rough. I'm just going to get over this, uh, cross the road and uh, get onto the smoother part of the runway there. If you were with me yesterday, um, did come down short of the road, short of the runway. It was a little bit of a rough landing, uh, but um, yeah, oh, we had a bit of a walk around. No damage to the to the aircraft, so we're pretty good. All right, let's just line up here on runway seven, and we'll announce our takeoff. And we're heading south. Yankee Whiskey Romeo Tango Traffic Cessna Golf Foxtrot Lima India Golf Hotel Tango taking off runway 7 south departure Alright Let's uh, wind this puppy up It's a pretty short runway so we're going to be doing a short field takeoff Okay Back on the stick as soon as we get to uh, uh, 45 knots, we want to be getting up and over these trees. Woohoo! How was that for a takeoff? Alright, they're gonna head around down towards the south. Now flaps up, let's get some speed up. We're gonna head towards Cradle Mountain. Oof! That was a beauty. You hear the stall warning indicator going off? We were only just uh, Barely clearing those trees. Melbourne 
Corporate Center Cessna Golf. Foxtrot Lima India Golf Hotel Tango is type Cessna 152 2 miles east of Yankee Whiskey Romeo Tango 2800 feet. Request flight following. Well, she's pretty windy again today. So this is pretty mountainous in this area here. It's going to um, we're going to have to climb up to a reasonable height. Um, there is a lake uh, up here on Cradle Mountain where we are where we are heading. Um, going to try and climb to about uh, 5,000 feet, I think, probably be sufficient. Um, should be passing over a road below us, Macintosh Road, I think it is called. come across uh, Cradle Mountain Road, um, the main road, and we will follow that along a bit, and then we will uh, uh, follow the, the small road up to Cradle Mountain. So to get up to Cradle Mountain, up to the lakes and the, and, 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 and the, and the camping grounds up there, you've got a small road, and you can get so far up in your own car, and then there's some parking, and then to go the rest of the way up to the lake, you would normally catch catch a bus to go up there. Sometimes they have it open to um, traffic, but not always. Quite often it's just they just got the bus running um, for you to get up there. Luckily the cloud uh, cover is quite high today, so um, we've got pretty good visibility. Uh, for this part of the journey. Hopefully it will stay that way. Not expecting any rain. No, just a little bit overcast. got away a bit earlier today obviously we're gonna have plenty of light we're not going to worry about running out of light today
go up to the road. A few tracks and stuff down there, but I should see a main a main highway along here somewhere. It's pretty much Cradle Mountain, you can see uh, straight ahead of us. It is a beautiful place in the world. I've been there um, a couple of times and uh, it is stunning, especially when you get up to the lake. Um, if you get a nice clear day, uh, the mountain, uh, there's a couple of boat sheds up there and a um, great spot to take some photos and stuff. There's the main road. See it out to the left out there. We're going to follow that main road and, uh, along for a little way and um, then we should hit the, the road that runs up to the mountain and we're going to follow that up to the mountain. dotted with lakes and uh, rivers, the river just down here, just down off, just off to the left there. Just keep an eye on that road. Beauty. a little bit. back up. Keeping an eye out for this road. I think that uh, might be it over there uh, where you see the river. Possibly the road to the mountain. And there's the main road down there.
don't think that's the road we're looking for. Possibly it is. No, there's the road we're looking for, over there. Here we are approaching Cradle Mountain now. There are a lot of walking tracks around here, uh, boardwalks, walking tracks, and stuff that you can that you can uh, take um, you know, to walk walk around, walk around, up, walk up the mountain and stuff. And, uh, Here we come up to the famous lake. So we're going to descend down, uh, fly around the, fly around the lake. There is actually a car park and everything up here. I don't know if it's how well it's going to be depicted on. Um, Microsoft Flight Simulator, but there is a, oh, a car park and a bus park and stuff like that. And, um, just here, right at the edge of the lake, some toilets. Can't remember if there was a, a shop there or anything like that. I think you had to go further back down the hill for the, for that. But you can see the river there. The road actually runs along beside the river. It's quite narrow. Um, there's a lot more tree density probably depicted in here than what there really is. Um, but as we get lower you'll be able to see the walking paths, uh, the car park etc. Oh yeah, there's the little house, the toilets and the rest area and that while you wait for the bus for your return and there's the walking tracks that take you around. I don't know if the uh, little boathouse is going to be depicted. But, uh, let's look out for it. No, is it there? Can't see it. No, it doesn't look like they've depicted the little boathouse there. There's a nice little boathouse there. You can take some photos of it. We're going to spin this plane around inside the caldera here. So, get ready for a rather sharp turn. Plenty of power on. We 
come back out over the lake. back out. Climb back out of the caldera. We'll give you a quick little look outside the plane so you can fully appreciate where we just flew into, flew out of. That, my friends, is Cradle Mountain. We are going to um, now head off down around the air side of the mountain and to the south. Testing off Hotel Dangle, contact Melbourne Centre on 122 decimal 6. Good day. Going to 122.6 at Mount Golf Hotel, Tango. Melbourne Centre, Sesta Golf, Fox Trogley, now India Golf Hotel, Tango, 4,000 feet. our way through this little bit of a valley as we uh, gain some additional altitude and head back down towards uh, Queenstown Airport which will be our destination for the today's flight. I hope you're not feeling too nervous. Uh, we're now in a sort of area where there is no uh, probably um, possible landing sites if we have an engine failure. Uh, it's pretty wooded. Once we get up a bit you will do see there are some planes over there but you probably haven't got enough altitude to be able to, um, to glide to those, uh, those bare patches up there. over this ridge here. very mountainous here. So we are deep in the Tasmanian wilderness. And 
there is an animal called a Tasmanian tiger which has been uh, e extinct for a large number of years. But people still claim that occasionally that they do uh, have sightings. Um, they're out in the wilderness. How true they are, I don't know. Um, but, you know, I guess people have seen some stranger things. So the airport that we're actually going to is uh, very uh, down, is down near a lake. Um, uh, lake Burberry, uh, the town of Queenstown is near a lake called Lake Burberry, and we will be we will be heading uh, down that way. Just go back out, and enjoy the tail cam and the scenery. Okay, welcome back inside the cockpit. You can see the view from my view. We get a little bit of low cloud around here. In the direction we want to go, really.
trying to make sure I've got a clear view out in front of me because um, we are in the mountains and uh, no one wants to um, park their uh, plane into the side of the mountain at uh, 150 kilometres an hour or so. So Tasmania is a pretty interesting place. It's uh, you do get to um, see the Southern Lights down here, uh, the Aurora Australis. Um, it is probably uh, about the most south that uh, people live in in Australia. I don't know if there's any Australian territory, probably apart from down in Antarctica that is further south than, than, than Tasmania. Um, there's two main cities, I suppose you could call them. Uh, you've got Launceston, which is in the north, um, and uh, Hobart, which is in the south. Um, I have been all around in a past life. Uh, taken a few photographs and 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 and, and, and travelled travelled around uh, travelled around Tasmania and um, yeah it is absolutely beautiful. You've got waterfalls. You've got um, you know just this wilderness, beautiful lakes and rivers. Uh, it does snow. Um, Usually on the, uh, on the on the on the mountains and stuff, but um, down in uh, Hobart there is a there is a mountain overlooks the uh, overlooks the city, and uh, yeah, it will snow on that mountain uh, as I found out um, when I've been down there taking photographs and stuff. But as you can see, you know, from looking around, it is just in the central part here, in the central west, I guess we are. Um, it is just rugged mountains and lakes, absolutely stunning. I recommend that um, if you ever do come to Australia, or you do live in Australia even, and uh, you have an opportunity to come down to Tasmania, spend at least 10 days down here really to really take it all in um, from the rugged west coast to the probably the flatter sort of um, uh, beaches and that sort of stuff on the on the east coast uh, yeah you know come into somewhere like Devonport or, or Launceston or, or fly into Hobart even hire yourself a car or a camper van and, and do the trip do the trip right around you won't regret it it's it's stunning I am due to due to head back down that way later in the year uh, in November I think I'm, I'm planning then depending on my work commitments but uh, yeah catch up with uh, friends and um, do a bit of camping and take my girlfriend who's never been. So
Unfortunately though, I don't have the uh, money or the, uh, or the licenses to be able to do this. To me, this would be, this would be probably one of the best ways to, to travel uh, down to Tasmania. Alright, so this looks like the lake, uh, Lake Burberry coming up here. Not to be confused with ladies' fashion. Um, but uh, yeah, this is so we're going to probably uh, fly down um, towards the lake and then uh, I believe the airstrip is probably over the back of uh, those ridges there. Um, just trying to work out the best way to approach it. Town over that side. Um, I think if we come across behind this ridge that's in front of us on the edge of the lake. over towards that body of water over there. A bit of low cloud around here too, which is going to make it interesting. I kind of have to work out if we can get underneath that. Um, you know, we, we, we didn't have that when we were further north, uh, but certainly there is a much lower uh, cloud layer here than what there was uh, when we departed Waratah Airport and flew up over Lake Mountain, uh, sorry, Cradle Mountain. Um, yeah is a much uh, lower cloud base. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting to negotiate this. That looks like the town in front of us, and uh, we will head down there, and uh, we should be able to find the airstrip.
that looks like the airstrip directly in front of us actually so uh, let's um, make a quick radio call Queenstown Airport we'll select the runway for landing and runway 9 is it Yankee Quebec November Sierra traffic Cessna Gulf Foxtrot Lima India Gulf Hotel Tango 4 miles northeast 5700 feet inbound to land runway 09er so I think we'll come around the town, over the town, and, um, and we'll circle round and then come and land on runway 9. Um, I think that's going to be the best approach. That's going to give us the most, uh, I think the most clearance, and especially if we have to bail out, we can fly back over the town. You can see the, the, the town, Queenstown, directly below us. And on the other the other side of those hills is uh, Lake Burberry. Uh, the lake we just talked about. Not to be confused with ladies' fashion. We are still quite high, so I am actually trying to lose as much altitude as I can. before we have to come round. Uh, yeah, we can take quite a decent size arc. It's the runway there, uh, runway 9 and runway 27. Uh, you can see there's the parking area just off to the side. Mm -hmm. uh, runway 27 is not a valid runway by the looks of things. Just runway 9 is the only thing that's available to us. Yeah, yes, runway 27 is closed. So we do have to come in on runway 9. I'll give you just a quick looky, quick sneaky look. And you can see the town and the airport. Alright, let's get back to flying this aircraft. really don't want to give ourselves too much trouble. Right, we'll head out over the lake and we'll come around and make a final approach uh, to runway 9. I think that's going to be the best way. It's going to be our best plan of attack, I think. over this ridge, drop down behind the ridge over the lake and then come back round. Okay, let's try landing lights on, everybody can see us. No air traffic around anyway, I haven't seen any, any other planes in the sky. We're the loners down here at the moment. Flaps down, we'll give ourselves a little bit, we'll slow us down a little bit. There's the runway over there. Okay, so we'll, 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 we'll turn on to a base leg, I think. From here, we are going to run right base, which is not usual, but what the hell. Yankee, Quebec, November, Sierra, traffic, Cessna, Golf. Foxtrot Lima India Golf Hotel, Tango is on base runway 09er.
Okay, right. Yeah, well, we'll turn on the final now. We'll flap. Well, now it's going final. Yankee, Quebec, November Sierra traffic, Cessna Golf, Foxtrot, Lima, India Golf Hotel, Tango is on final runway 09er to land. Last stage of flap, uh, just get us down to a nice landing speed. Approach speed, 50 knots. Touchdown, just over the line. And there we go. We are down, people. Nice short landing. How was that? How was that? That was a great short landing. That was a great short landing. Welcome to Queenstown Airport, Tasmania, Australia. And we'll go and find ourselves somewhere to park and refuel our aircraft. I can see uh, a few maintenance people there. I'm going to take a quick look. I've asked them to have a quick look over the aircraft before we continue on. Drives off, taxi off, and have lights off. We'll leave the beacon on until we've um, cut the engine so they are aware the engine is running. And he wants us to stop here. Beautiful. Alright. Park brake on, fuel off, magnetos off. And we'll turn off the cut off, fuel cut off, beacon off, avionics off, alternator off, battery off. Well, that's it, folks. Thank you very much again for uh, joining me on this uh, short and uh, little flight down to uh, Queenstown Airport in Tasmania, uh, departing of Waratah. Um, and a short little loop around over the uh, over Cradle Mountain. So I hope you enjoyed it, and um, yeah, thanks for coming along. Uh, remember, like, subscribe, uh, enjoy if you enjoy the channel or you enjoy these uh, live streams, then feel free to hit that bell button so you know next time I'm on. Um, anyway, thanks for joining me again, and uh, we'll see you on the next flight.